Hey guys, this is not going to be a React video. Um, today I'm going to show you the patch notes or the retail patch notes from Overwatch 2. So uh, enjoy. Okay, in this particular video, I am just going to uh, go through these uh, patch notes. Um, I will just skip the things that I don't really care about or that is uh, insufficient for me. So uh, let's go. Halloween Terror. Yeah, it's okay. New map. New control map, that is a very nice uh, touch. I love control maps. Uh, I think flashpoints are <sighs> pretty bad mechanic. It's a really, it's it's pretty big and it's pretty crappy, right? So the flashpoints, it's basically like uh, control maps uh, from Overwatch 1, where it's best of five. Now it's, it's the same. It's best of five again, but You don't have you have to skip through the hero selection again like okay just uh just make flash points like control maps with best of three not best of five so you don't have to waste everyone's time because i have listened to not listened but i noticed um that a lot of players really don't like flash points so uh in my personal opinion, you should just remove it from competitive. Uh, you can have it on quick play, I don't really care. But competitive-wise, I think it's very boring. It doesn't add anything. It's a waste of time. So yeah. Here we work Sombra. I honestly, I honestly don't care about the hero. Uh, it's nice, I guess. Uh, so she got some tuning. Um, they have removed her... Uh, is that a passive, I think? And the stealth is now a uh, passive instead of uh, an ability. So that's nice. A virus, uh, fire projectile, damage to deal fast on hacked enemies, impact damage. Okay, so she can single target the kill supports better now, I assume. If you're going send, you're probably fucked, I think. Uh, so uh, if you're a send player, good luck. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, <clears throat> so devs is basically saying just fuck you send players and um, Yeah EMP ultimate charge cost increased by 15% okay, that's pretty nice. So you can't stack I remember for Overwatch 1 you could actually stack EMP if uh, the players are um, um, Contributing and taking health packs if it's hacked so uh, I don't think it, that's um, uh, a thing anymore, but uh, we'll see. Do not comply on competitive. Oh, well, I don't care. Unright leave a I guess this is quick play. Honestly, I do not care. But, um. Okay, you know what? I care a little bit. Why the fuck do you get penalty for unranked? Like, unranked is just a fun game mode. Like, it is just for practice tool. It is. Like, who cares about unranked? Really? Like, the only thing you're on right is new players that are going in, they have to get 50 wins, I assume, to uh, be enabled to play competitive. Like, why are devs focusing on this unnecessary things when ranked should be the priority? Play players, I assume, play a hell of a lot more on competitive than on ranked. Fix your game, thank you. All right. Story missions, uh, this is a joke, <laughs> like, come on, story missions. <laughs> hero Mastery, oh, this is very nice. You know what, here's my opinion about Hero Mastery. Hero Mastery should be applied in the tutorials for new players. It should. Like, you can't expect every player to play every hero. Like, they will pick top 3 or top 5 play uh, heroes. Like, why can't you just implement hero mastery in the tutorials? Because they will then practice more with the heroes that they want to play. Like, learn about positioning, learn about ultimate management, learn about cooldown management, learn about how to aim and how to prioritize targets. Like, why can't you have this in the fucking tutorial? It would be so efficient for each player to have that, right? They will learn about how the fundamentals are the game. They will learn the philosophy about the game. So please have that in your tutorial. Thank you. 
Player progression. Honestly, don't care. Challenges. Okay, I guess. Tank. Okay, I'm a tank player, so this is nice. So, she got some nerf. That is a very good thing. I think Orisa is... Um, she is heavily, heavily uh, mandatory to have in uh, competitive right now because of her uh, survivability. Yeah. So I agree with this. Just uh, you, you, honestly, you can just nerf her more. Remote and nerf cooldown decreased. That is a buff. So you can uh, be able to have his nemesis follow up. That is fine. I don't mind it. Um, <coughs> Wrecking Ball. I don't care about this champion. But um, from a look to it. Number of shots reach max spread. That is a slightly nerf, I think. Sorry, Al. That is a nerf. Um... Okay, I love Saria, but uh, was this necessary though? I don't know. <laughs> what a fucking joke. This is a joke. This is such a joke. Oh, why? Like, come on. Why do you buff this character? Please, bro. And why does it, why does it buff <laughs> so unnecessary things? <laughs> Deep chill removed. Yeah, what a fucking pussy. Like, come on. Okay. First, you're 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 removing the freeze, and then you add deep chill. Which I I don't know about deep chill, which I assume that you get slower whenever you stack up chill, and then you remove it. Like you're back and forth, Blizzard. Why are you back and forth on this uh, thing? Like you are back and forth all the time. You're like, who's in charge of this? Uh, damage for a second increased. Okay. No, immediately slows enemies by 40% instead of building up over time. Oh! Okay, so they have... Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, so they remove this, and then now it immediately slows. Oh, I didn't, I didn't read that, sorry. <laughs> but, um... But I don't know, I don't know how Deep Shield works. Uh, I don't know what the percentage were uh, over time if you are uh, freezing. So I don't know how much percentage of the f uh, slow is. I assume it's a lot more. Because they have to compensate uh, for it, right? So, I don't know. Uh, primary fire recover. Uh, okay, don't care. Don't care about Torb. Support. Damage increased. Oof, this, uh, this character is so controversial. Holy shit, Ko. How uncontroversial this character is. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, if you're an Overwatch fan, uh, Overwatch 1 fan, or Overwatch 1 player, you know what I'm talking about. Ilari. Ah, this is a joke. Like, why... When I... Whenever I have... No, I'm sorry. Whenever I uh, encounter a uh, Ilari on the enemy team, especially a good one, holy fucking shit, that, that, that character is fucking annoying. Like, her ult is so bullshit. Like, why don't you just nerf the AoE radius? Like, and, and second of all, it can actually stack to other players, like, if you're infected. Like, there's an AoE effect on it. Like, <laughs> what a joke. Tank, D.Va. Oh, this is uh, specific options. Okay, so everything here. Uh, I don't really care about this. This is nice stuff, but I don't really care. Uh, okay, so uh, environmental updates. Um... Yeah, it's a nice touch. Uh, I don't know why they have rotation on this. I wish it was randomized, but okay. Bug faces. Oh, here's another thing. Like, okay, watch point Gibraltar. <laughs> okay, this map applies to all Watch 1 players or people who have played 2CP. Okay. <clears throat> In the last point, or watch point Gibraltar on the defense side. Uh, can you guys tell me what that reminds you of? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. It reminds me of last points on 2CP. Do you know why? Like, you can compare it to 2CP point on the last point of Gibraltar, the third point. So, the distance from uh, the spawn to payload to contest is 
equivalent to Temple of Anubis, Hanamura, and Volskaya Indris Industries um, from the beginning of spawn to the point. It is the exact same thing. The distance is the exact same thing, and they rem they actually removed two CP because of this because they 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 couldn't balance it, <laughs> and now they are slowly integrating a two CP version of a payload from the last point. Why? How? What? You, no, this is this this can't be happening. This can't be happening. I bet they're going to do this on other payload maps as well. Like they, they don't know how to balance it. They don't really know how to balance it. That's how you get. Um, let's see. That's how you get the uh, stalling. Like it is infinite stall, and the distance from the attacker's perspective is much further. And the and the defenses get faster to spawn or the same spawn. Like. Bro, what the fuck? This reminds me of uh, 2CP again. Like, I mean, like in higher elo, good fucking luck with. Um, I guess the, the 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 difference is that there are two less players. There are two less players. Like it, it isn't six for six, at least five for five. Uh, I guess this is an okay comp uh, conversation, but then again, like you get you they don't have they don't have uh, nerfed the respawn time. They don't like. <sighs> nah, I can't. This is just... Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> this is fucking sadness, in my opinion. But uh, anyways... Uh, shit map. Shit map. I mean, I mean, it's cool aesthetically, but like the mode is just shit. Like... I don't care. Oh, that's it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll give my final thoughts, so uh, be prepared. So, uh, in conclusion, I think that Blizzard doesn't really care about the players uh, who play in a competitive environment. Uh, I think that they are very heavily focused on their battle pass. I think they're heavily focused on their skins, uh, which is pretty nice. But then again, why? Um, people are often comparing to loot boxes and battle passes, but honestly, I think that battle pass is better because you're actually buying and you know what you're getting compared to loot boxes. Loot boxes, for the fourth, is like a gambling, but uh, there's a debate that I will actually stand by. I think a lot of people will, or mostly people will agree with me. Um, but yeah. So, um, and the fifth. It looks like people, um, no, it looks like Blizzard doesn't really care about uh, people who are in the competitive environment um, because they will also appeal to the majority that is heavily um, focused on the aesthetic pleasing of the game uh, the skins and their feelings uh, in my honest opinion and I, f I hope that people will realize this but they need to check on the competitive scene like, it is a fucking joke. It is not fun anymore. It is very boring. I hate that I have, I as a solo queue player, I have to deal with fucking three stacks and four stacks in my team. That means that people who are three stacking, it means for new players, or players that don't know what I'm talking about, it just means that you are queuing up as three player, and then I have to deal with you because you don't join voice chat you don't want to communicate you are just uh, wanking in the discord call with your two friends and just ruining everybody's enjoyment of competitive because again competitive the word competitive means that you are taking the match seriously compared to other that's why competition means like you're showing your skill you're improving your skill like why can't you blizzard focus on this it is so unfair right so, in my honest opinion, I can re I can actually talk about uh, a video on how to solve these issues, or like give you an idea on how to do it, All right? So uh, I don't know when this game is going to be like in an okay state. Like they're already fucked up with the Overwatch 2 content when it comes to story mode. So I bet they're probably going to get stale further on. Like they're pushing content, but no, they're not trying. Why push content? when you can't fix 
things that needs to be fixed, right? Why can't you do it? And, for, and the more you're staling, the more players will drop. And that is really, really bad for the investors, right? So try to focus more on the competitive scene, in my opinion, and less on the casual, right? If, however, the majority wants competitive as it is, then <clears throat> you know what? I have to concede then, but you will lose a lot of competitive players People will not take your game seriously anymore. And uh, yes, that is my opinion. Uh, leave, leave the comments down below what you guys think. In my honest opinion, I think that they should focus more on a competitive scene. Fix the structure of competitive. Let me know from the devs, from the Blizzard, that I want to know your philosophy behind you, the competitive. Because right now, it feels very skewed, it's very flawed, and doesn't add any value. Like, the only, the only time I play Overwatch, I don't really care about the other stuff, right? I only care about the competitive scene. Uh, and I think people should also really focus on competitive scene too. So I'm ranting much, so I will make a video on how to fix competitive, in my honest opinion. And uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, for uh, paying attention to my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye bye.